Hey guys, I'm Wedge Fairy, and welcome back to A Game of Thrones, A Telltale Series, Episode 1, Iron from Ice. This is Mira Forrester. Last time, we played as Garrod the Squire, who avenged his family's death and got set to the wall for it. Excellent, nice, fair justice system we have there. We played as the new young Lord Forester, Lord Ethan, and sassed the White Hills out of Ironrath. And now we get to beat Mira for a little bit, who is apparently Marjorie Tyrell's handmaiden. And Marjorie is betrothed to the king. I'm hoping it's Tommen. It's probably Joffrey, let's be honest. So let's click around the house a little. Let's look at the coal brazier. That looks nice. Is she cold? That was fascinating. Let's look in the ironwood box. Look, we have stuff. Let's look at this. Ethan made this for me. Aw. He's the boss now. Let's look at this. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. Oh, it was nice of her then. Let's look at this coin. Asher sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. And this letter. Read. Father, much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and mother could come, although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. Hmm. I guess as, like, former bannerman to House Stark, it's not super welcome in King's Landing. I have a feeling that's the problem here. Now let's look at this dusty old tome. Wonders made by man. By Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. Huh. I hope she already knows I hope her to family see them all someday. Dead. Nope, she has no idea. Great. Great. Oh, we can look out the window. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. Sunny with a side of all of her family is dead. I guess not all, just her father and her oldest brother. Uh, was there more to look at here? We looked at that. Let's look at it again. Does it want us to put the unfinished letter in it, maybe? Can't go back into there. We don't have anything in our inventory. What am I missing? We look at the coal brazier till the cows come home, but that's not doing anything for us. This is Mira. <laughs> oh, there we go. Letter from Mother. It troubles me to even ask this of you. But you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. Uh -oh. She is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally. Especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Oh, so she does know. Alright, let's go get the door. Hopefully it's not somebody here to kill us too! One moment. Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. Um, well, who are- No, it's fine. Come in. Oh, probably coal for the braider. That's why we keep getting able to look at it, because he's not done with it yet. Mm. Begging your pardon, milady, but you all right? If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. That's... I'm just worried about my family. Ah, letter from home, is it? Hopefully, if I'm nice to, to him, he'll be of nice course, to me. Of course, my lady. You've always been kind to me. 
Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. Guess if you dump it, you get coal dust everywhere. You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. Yeah. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw uh, Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Uh, Cersei. Talk to Queen Cersei. That's always a terrible thing. They to appeared get into. to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't um, hear much, but what did they say? I couldn't make out much, but I King's knew they were Landing. talking about the stars. Knowledge is power. House Forrester. House Forrester. Don't tell them that's your family. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. Oh, but no, I, I guess thought maybe you ought he to knows. know. Yes. Most people don't tend to notice a cowboy, not in King's Landing, with so many lords and ladies about. You Thank see you and hear all me. sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Good night, my lady. Good night. So Cersei and Marjorie were talking about our family. Mm, we were hoping to nip this in the bud. Yay, Marjorie! Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. Uh-oh. Let's hoping we could get out in front the of that issue, but... When you arrived in Highgarden, I thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. My family wrote me, my lady. I don't doubt they must be overcome with grief. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. Who is the lady you in the back and who is she working for? There are limits for? to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the north whose family fought for Rob Stark. Uh-oh. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. You're firing me. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. They're firing me. She mentioned the northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. Ah. Uh... She was very pleased with herself. What does she intend to do? <sighs> she intends to make you miserable, knowing that will make me miserable as well. Her face is so friendly. <laughs> We're talking about nasty she wants things. An apology of some sort for what I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't oh ask this gosh. of you if it were not important. What do I say? Find a way to appease her. Oh my Humor god. Her. Tell her what she wants to hear. Oh my god. See if the Queen Regent is this actually happening? Us. Hi. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Uh, no. Good luck. Oh. Oh, holy balls. I am not looking forward to this. Oh my god. All these Tyrians here. Oh, this is not gonna go you well. You can do this. Oh no. Okay. Mira, we just gotta channel Sansa. Deep cleansing breaths. Through indirections, find directions out. Come on. Ah, Lady Marjorie, aren't you looking lovely this evening? It looked like the middle Lord of the day Tyrion. outside. Your Grace? With your permission, uh. allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Um... We were, we're trying to your make Grace. this blow over. Yes, yeah, see, that's Girl what we want. Courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. 
House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Totally. Are they? I beg your pardon, yeah. your grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is yep. your family loyal to the king? Yep. Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She uh, is. House Forrester's loyalty to the crown never wavers, your grace. I see. And yet. For centuries, the Foresters uh, have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. They're traitors now. They weren't traitors before. They were the Wardens of the North. We all served at the pleasure of the king. Clever girl. <laughs> yeah, Tyrion likes Perhaps this at the very least. For her own good. Uh, whatever. The girl did say their loyalty was unwavering. She has a talent for equivocation, yet I question what she really thinks. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? Um. He is the Warden of the North, Your Grace. See, wait, I, don't... I feel he like is. I can't win this! Am I the Queen Regent and Tyrion the Master of Coin? The girl has a remarkable talent for answering questions while in fact saying nothing at all. Yeah, well, thanks Tyrion, but you're just making it worse, Old I think. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely yep, on House Forrester. Yep, because we need your help! Forster Ironwood does seem rather unique. Yep. Yes, Your Grace. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you do oh, must do no. to prevent this that Oh no, this is not going well. Ask any Lannister, and they do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Uh, I don't know what to say. I'm not going to say anything. I feel like that might have been a bad choice. I'm so stressed. Well, nothing, perhaps. It's hard to tell either way. What uh, can the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. I'm so glad Tyrion's question, there. I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the wall? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day... Oh, we're bringing that Anders. up, eh? Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? No. Ah. I'm sure she regrets it. Perhaps. Uh, Perhaps not. There's no good answers there's here. There's point to this. I hope you find it quickly. Thank you! <laughs> Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. Cersei, cut You're the a crap. from the north here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what oh, would you do then? Oh boy. I'm sure Let she would- Let the girl answer the question. Um, Go on. My loyalties would never conflict, your grace. That's a coward's answer. I will not have my time wasted by a northern girl who thinks she can play uh, games. Who do you choose? Oh my god. We're gonna go with Marjorie because I cannot handle Joffrey. Must choose Marjorie, your grace. Clearly your handmaiden does not have her priorities straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of Kingston. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what to make of her. Not surprising, I suppose, for a northern girl. But not very encouraging either. Oh, the only thing that's making like this tolerable, you, if I may, is of the fact that I've read the, the books that are out now, and I know what happens to Cersei. <laughs> I'll walk you out. Yay, this Tyrion! Come as a surprise, but I met your father once at the tourney at Lannisport. 
Even then, he didn't trust Ruse Bolton. <laughs> well... We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. These are trying times, my lord. My family fears what might happen now that the Boltons rule the North. They must still answer to the crowd. You shouldn't yeah. forget that, nor should they. That's true. We're not going to forget it. It's you fine. You were brave to declare your loyalty to Lady Marjorie. No doubt she was pleased, but yeah. Cersei, yeah. she will not soon forget what you said. It was quite the first impression. <sighs> I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. I did it for Lady Marjorie. As you should. And of course she has your best interests at heart. One My hopes, sister but... and I yeah. have our differences. Probably not. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. Charade. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood. And I speak uh... for the crown in this regard. Not her. What are you suggesting? Hmm. I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady what? Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what uh -oh. would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Do I have to decide right now? Are you willing to risk that? Uh, in fact, forget I even suggested such a thing. I can't. I'm sorry, Tyrion. But it's a risk I cannot afford. I really like you, Tyrion, and I'm sorry. Discretion. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. Uh, the mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. I do I really like it. Nothing would make Cersei happier. Until then, be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Yeah, that's true. Oh. I feel like I need to go into this knowing the terrible things are going to happen to me. <laughs> it's Marjorie. No, it's the other handmaiden. I was worried. How was it? No. Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It didn't go very well. I'm sorry. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. But at Who least is it's this over person? now. Who is this person? Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back. Here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ah. <sighs> Sir Jamie, I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of Ooh, his. Oh, we're going there, huh? It's true. And Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a <sighs> He is quite handsome and quite passionate, from what I've heard. Perhaps Lady Marjorie could make the right introductions. Who knows? Yeah. You might I don't know. The Lady Marjorie is super happy with me right now, Although, so. Marrying a king? I can only imagine what that would be like. Have you met Would you Joffrey? marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? Uh... He does have a certain look about him. And he's uh... always treated Lady Marjorie well. I don't want to be queen no matter who I'd have to marry. Don't want to be queen? No. You northerners. You'd make a perfect scepter. Oh, jeez. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as Queen oh, of the Seven Kingdoms. I don't like this handmaiden. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Oh, wow, thanks. Let's see. Who else should we marry off? Brienne of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> oh, come what on. That's not match. fair. Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? Well, I'm sorry, my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing about. This is not a game. Uh. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. 
Yet they say it is men who are powerful. <laughs> the Queen was rather disappointed by your display, uh, Mira. Yeah, I don't doubt it. I'm just glad it's over. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I we fear not it will only get politics. worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? <laughs> yes, of course I do. Yeah. Once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. Yeah, see, I know. <laughs> your words to Cersei were brave, but I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. 100%. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. Ah, uh, I'm totally asking for her help. How, why would we not ask her for I, help? I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Oh, jeez. We're brave as shit. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. Oh boy, no, it's no. It's about my family. I trust her. This is gonna bite us in the ass, but it'll piss off Marjorie if we send Sarah away. Go on. Ah. Oh. <sighs> my mother needs our help. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. What would you have me do? I don't know! My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought, if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the Crown. I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. Yeah. That is no small request. Yeah, Especially I know. now. I'm sorry, I know, Mar lady, I'm sorry, Marjorie. I ask this of you otherwise. But my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Maybe Trust we should have only too asked well that. your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene. Uh, Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady. King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. That's true. My mother feels it is urgent, my lady. She's unfamiliar with King's Landing and its politics. I hope you can understand that. Very well. I'll make uh -oh. your request, but I cannot oh. promise anything. Thank you, my lady. Yay, Marjorie! I'll send raven to my family at once. This might go terribly, and I feel like Sarah's going to use this information to do terrible things because we already know she wants to be queen. Oh boy! Oh, and here's Garen. <laughs> Oh, that doesn't sound happy. And there goes our horse. Seven elves. Oh no. I have a feeling we may see our first actual flayed man here. Yup. Let's play a little game, shall we? Oh no. Did you know my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat? Gross! Oh no. <gasps> Don't see me. Alright, well, I'm gonna leave this one here for now. Again, my name is Wedgeberry. This is Game of Thrones, Not a Telltale series. Episode 1, Iron from Ice. I suppose I and I hope to see you next time. Practice.